tell us a little bit about your experience on Idle? I mean, it obviously got interrupted by COVID. But, yeah. Um, what was the process for you? How did you get on and um, how did it proceed for you? So like um, for the first, I mean, yeah, for the, that first, the first stages, I remember I didn't even want to do Idle because I thought I wasn't even that remotely good. I was kind of forced into it, not forced, but I was encouraged by my, my parents to just do it. And then I was like, no, I don't think so. Then they were like holding this grudge on me and like there was, it was going to be a burden if I didn't do it. So then I just did it for the hell of it. And I was like, you know, what? I'm going to do it. I'm not going to practice my songs. I'm just going to go and sing. And that's basically what I did. So uh, for the casting call. So it wasn't even like, it was like the first level for everybody. It was like fair game for everybody. So when I did that, I just kind of um, went in and was like, whatever, I'm going to do this. And if I don't get in, I don't get in. If I get in, cool. And then I got in, and then the first levels throughout, I got in again. And I was like, oh, wow, this is actually kind of cool and kind of fun. And, um, yeah, then I went on to the executives. And then after that, the actual audition. And then after that, it just started rolling through. So was that last fall when you were that was a, Yeah, so that was, like, around um, November, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah, so November. And – uh yeah so it's like a year already over a year wow. from now. and then when did it go completely virtual um it went virtual around march mm-hmm. so um the following so, so like this year um march we were actually in la for the live shows already we're all in la had our own apartments it was super exciting i was like i've never never moved away for college i was i went to community college so i was like this is going to be my time to like actually experience my a semblance of college so then i was really excited and then like the next day like oh the next few days they were like all right everybody got got, got yeah I go home it's um it's dangerous and yeah we gotta stay safe and then we all understood and we we're like oh it's all good and then um there was actually no there was no answer to when we're coming back so then they were just like well whatever happens happens and we're gonna try to figure it out and uh we just left and then uh that happened in March so then everything kind of all the live shows from home kind of sparked up from March to May and um yeah <laughs> it was a complete it was a complete like 180 because it was like we, here we are like just contestants on a show all you have to do is sing practice our songs and just sleep eat and hang out with friends now we're just full-on producers set designers mm-hmm. um like it's just crazy how many thing to go in to make a show and we were kind of the root of that during live shows and it was crazy for us because it was like this new experience and then um we didn't know what, what was going to happen we didn't even know it was going to turn out good and um we we're doing zoom ch- sessions every day with vocal vocal uh, vocal coaches uh the production teams and yeah it was like super weird because all of us got super um overwhelmed so to the point where like we kind of stopped it's it kind of stopped feeling like it was like a a show it started feeling like it was um this weird little bermuda triangle type deal i don't know it was like really weird and then um yeah so the, i think the best thing that came out of that show though was the the friends i've made and the friends that actually i've kept close to so uh yeah that's actually the best part about it it's like people like although we had to go through this whole entire process uh we kept some friends and uh we're all still very close what was the best advice you got from one of the celebrity judges probably from lionel richie when um i was in uh, hollywood week and uh i was feeling very nervous and just not even confident at all and uh he was like basically telling me like i was born to do this and um that really that actually struck 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 a chord in, in me because I was just had low, I had low self esteem. I was going through such mental, I was going through a mental uh, headspace that was just negative overall. And I always thought that I didn't deserve to be there in the show and didn't deserve to actually have a career in music. So uh, I keep that kind of in my in the back of my mind almost every day because it's hard to not overthink when you're ha- when you have that much anxiety inside of you and. Uh, yeah, so that's probably one of the best advice advices that I've ever gotten.